All right, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR here. And in this video, I'm gonna give you my first impressions for The Outer Worlds. So The Outer Worlds is an action RPG um, made by Obsidian. Uh, I've never been a Fallout fan, um, but people tell me that Obsidian, um, in their opinion, ha uh, did make the best Fallout game, which Fallout fans tell me uh, is Fallout New Vegas. So, you know, not that that really means much to me, because once again, I didn't play. Well, I played the Fallout games. I played Fallout 3. I played Fallout 4. And those games were extremely boring to me. I know Fallout uh, has had a, 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 a great fan base. You know, Fallout 76 definitely didn't help help them out um, and the reputation of the series and the franchise out. But I'm sure there's still a, a lot of fans um, of, of the Fallout franchise, and hopefully they'll be able to rebound in the future. But when we saw the Outer Worlds reveal, and it's, it's made by Obsidian once again, and a lot of people who uh, worked on Fallout New Vegas um, are heading this, proje this project, so a lot of people were excited uh, for Outer Worlds for that reason. So if I had to describe Outer Worlds, uh, I would, you know, through the combination of different games, I would say, yeah, it's, it's some of Fallout a little bit of Bioshock, uh, a little bit of Borderlands. And I don't know why, but the aesthetic of it um, also reminds me of Dishonored for some reason. I, I don't know why, why looking at this game um, visually kind of reminds me of uh, Dis Dishonored and the, the style of it is definitely Bioshock and, and Fallout as I previously mentioned. Um, so as I said, I was never a fan of Fallout. I thought the game was extremely boring, right? But I'm really enjoying the Outer Worlds. So by the way, let me just say the gameplay that you're watching is very early. Um, I just wanted to use this gameplay so I didn't, you know, put any like spoilers or anything like that in the game. Um, I'm trying to be considerate, right? So the gameplay that you're actually watching is the is gameplay before I did any actual missions. Pretty much when you start the game, the game gives you control. You know, you set up your basic stats, you customize your character, um, and this game is in first person, so you don't get to see your character that often. And the character customization is pretty decent. It's not the best character cu customization you've seen in a game. It's it's far from the worst. It, it, it's pretty decent. And how I largely judge how good character customization is, is how much, uh, how, how good the character customization is when you're customizing a black character, because a lot of games have failed in that department for a long time. So my, my black character is able to actually look like a black character, right? Not like not a white person in blackface. So it has de decent character uh, customization. So the gameplay that you're seeing, as I, as I, as I mentioned, this was pretty much um, me just running around the environment because it's an it's it's a it's not an open world game it's a it's it's large open areas but not open world so what i like to do in games like this is just explore uh off the beaten path um doing everything the game is not telling me to do so this is before do i i did this before doing any main mission literally the only thing i did is pretty much the beginning of the game you have to get to this ship and then uh once you get to the ship it tells you you have to go into town to find this item for the ship so once after that i just went ex and explored everything that was actually available um in the the large area so that and i like to do that in games because it allows me to get like a whole it allows me to level up for one thing um it allows you to get access to some really cool weapons that uh, I really shouldn't have this early in the game, especially for not even doing one mission yet. Uh, you know, get access to armor and a whole bunch of things and, and just and learn the game before you even get to the main mission. So that's where all this gameplay is coming from. I am much farther than this, but that's, you know, how I typically uh, play games like this. So as I said, it's an action RPG. RPG. Uh, you know, you get to choose as I said, your base stats, some of your skills, uh, perks and abilities, and you gain more um, by uh, by leveling up, uh, by gain, gaining XP, and you get to choose what skills, perks uh, you want to you want to unlock, and those give you other gives you other abilities. Uh, there is a good amount of item management in the game. 
but it's nowhere as close to like what the item management that you have to do in Borderlands. And I'm, I, I love Borderlands, but even the amount of item management you have to do in that game does get on my nerves sometimes. Um, there's some, you know, basic weapons, and I think there's like three different ammo types, uh, light, heavy, and then energy ammo. Um, and there's, you know, your basic weapons, as I said, uh, pistol, shotgun, different, and it's different assault rifles, sniper rifle, and there's different types, and then there's like also energy weapons. So they have the basic types, but they get a little bit creative with the weapons and, you know, where you shoot the, the uh, enemies can actually cause, they actually react to where you shoot them and it can cause like status effects. And like, for example, if I shoot um, an enemy in the face, it could either, you know, shoot their head off because there is dismemberment or decapitation in the game and i as you'll see later on in, in this video um or it could like blind them for example there is armor as i previously mentioned there's a reputation system that is determined by uh for example how you interact with npcs if you like lie to npcs if you steal if people see you stealing things that can affect your reputation system the reputation system i believe uh the game has a mild sense of humor, which I do like. It's not directly on the nose like Borderlands. And let me address uh, dialogue because for some reason people think that I don't like games that are dialogue heavy, that which is not the case at all. I just don't like games where the dialogue seems to be completely meaningless and is uninteresting. The dialogue um, with, the, with the NPCs in, um, in Outer Worlds, it's engaging. I actually sat there, listened to everything these NPCs ha have to say, and I was really, I, I was genuinely interested and I cared about what they were telling me because it, it's, it had, there was a means to an end. Um, and depending on what dialogue choices you chose really had an impact. And, and they show you that very early, early on. It could, you know, lead to you, you know, possibly killing that NPC or it could lead to that NPC uh, giving you an opportunity to go on a side mission. So I, I'm really enjoying the, and it's just good writing. It's it's good script. So you know, I just wanted to address that because some people think I don't I don't like games um, like Yakuza or uh, Persona because oh it's it's too much reading or it's too much dialogue. Nope, there's plenty of dialogue in the Outer Worlds. Been loving it so far. Not one problem with any of the dialogue. The dialogue just has to be good. That is my only thing. If you're gonna make me read, if you're gonna make me listen to all this dialogue, it has to be good. Even in Control, Control had like di some dialogue with the NPCs, and it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. So I wanted, I, I, I found it interesting to, to sit through and listen to some of it, but not, not all of it. Um, speaking of NPCs, you can recruit NPCs as companions to take with you, and they have their own skills and. Uh, special attacks and special abilities uh, just you know just similar to how how you do um, there's a lot in the environment to explore and and, and plenty to find and everything like that so I, I'm really enjoying just exploring the environment and seeing what I what I can find um, the story so here's what I understand from the story so far right um, it's set in an alternate universe as many of these games usually are um, and they usually have some type of like political implications i guess uh so the plot is like president um william McK mckinney and i've never been great at history well not not that not this sector of history specifically um but president william mckinney uh is not assassinated right so as a result theodore roosevelt never became president and this caused like large businesses uh to dominate society and mega corporations to take over and we ended up colonizing other planets and things like that at a faster rate so that's like the basis of the of the plot and um it, it goes more and in, more into it uh as far as like how your how this applies to your character but that's at least the world setup and once again i have to play a little bit more of the game to actually uh you know exp expound up upon uh, you know how the narrative goes, but not really much to speak on there as far as the visuals go uh, It's not the best looking game um, You know the character models are decent. The environment is okay. It's not the best textures This game is not winning any awards for 
you know, best looking game or, or anything like that. Even for its art style, it's not the best looking game. I played it at 1440p, I played it at 4K. Um, I, ha I am experiencing some, uh, some performance issues, especially in, in the larger environments there are some performance problems that i've i've encountered i you know ha, you know that good old pc troubleshooting um life you gotta google things and everything like that people say the simple solution is just to uh limit the frame rate to 60 frames unfortunately you know and which is sucks because if you have a 2080 ti like me and you know you're maxing out everything and typically it, it can go above uh 60 you want it to go above 60 but you know locking it to to locking it to 60 helps even in the open environments because if you don't do that when you're in the open environment it drops to like 30 right i've been in an open environment and it's not even that big it's not like it's a huge open like world where it's rendering all of these assets it's just an open area and it's dropped to 30 and then i go to like a uh and then i i, I transition to an to a smaller um like corridor type area i go inside of an area and it's just like jumps to like 150 frames or some shit like it. it's crazy um so i wish it could be like that throughout the whole game but there are some like performance issues you know stuttering hiccups so it definitely needs a patch um like i said it's not the best looking game but um this is you know their first entry out with within the series i i think um i think you know i think there'll probably be an outer worlds too just based on I think what the success of this game will be. I think it will become a franchise in a series and I think people will love it. I'm definitely enjoying this game a lot. Um, I recommend it. Um, I think even if you're not a Fallout fan, you will like it. I think especially if you're not a Fallout, if, if you wanted to like Fallout, but you couldn't get jiggy with that, it just wasn't connecting with you and you, uh, I, I think this game might be better for you. I'm personally enjoying it. Um, I even bought it, you know, I, I don't do the Game Pass thing, nothing against the Game Pass, but, you know, it's just not for me, I just prefer to just buy my games right out, um, so, I, yes, I paid that 60 at, uh, with the Epic Games launcher, and I'm glad I am uh, in, enjoying the game, it's definitely a good game, it's, it's, a, it's a good uh, entry, so, uh, yeah, uh, th those are my first impressions, um, I think it's a very solid game, I'm having plenty of fun with it, um, Made missions are, you know, good. Side missions, good. The, you know, the the art the art style could be a little bit sharper, could be a little bit cr uh, crisper. Uh, but yeah, the gameplay is 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 really good. So it's a good action RPG. So yeah, um, those are my thoughts on the Outer Worlds. Uh, let me know what y'all think if you've played it, or if you're thinking about picking it up, or you know, if you're on the fence about it. Let me know, and uh, hit that like button. Make sure you, you know, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can know anytime I upload a video. And uh, I'll check y'all on the next video, all right? Peace.